Go. My name is David Roberts. I'm uh, developing an insulated rammed earth form. And what I'm doing is showing how to do the uh, rammed earth, how to do it in layers. Um, I'm sitting on a layer that hasn't been, uh, hadn't been cured. I just got through it about two minutes ago. And what we're doing is doing it in about two inch layers. Um, so it's very important if you use regular field dirt, not topsoil. Uh, you're looking for a high clay content with as little organic matter as possible. And put it in anywhere from about four to six inches thick. And try to even it out as much as possible. What you do is you take your tamper, whether you're hand tamping or you're using pneumatic tamper. Pneumatic actually makes a much better tamp. Um, I don't have a pneumatic tamper, so I'm doing it by hand. And what you do is just start nice and soft, get it to flatten out. Because if you don't, if you leave it without uh, being compacted at all and you try to compact it, it just blows all over the place. Uh, so what you do is you start on your edge, start compacting. And you'll notice when you get it to the point that it's compacted enough, it actually changes the sound. And it gets to where it rings like a bell. You can feel it under under your feet. And that's it. That's your next layer. Uh, for about four to six inches of loose material you're going to get about an inch to maybe two, two and a half inches of compacted dirt. And you can tell it doesn't even really make a footprint, it's so hard. When you feel it, even pushing in as hard as I can, I can just barely push in with my thumb and over time that actually cures just like a brick ends up setting up like concrete. That's it.